Be reported over the weekend, the new indirect tax regime completed six years on Saturday. Now let's get you the latest on the GST mop-up. The government's goods and services tax collection for June crossed the 1.6 lakh crore rupee mark. This is the third highest monthly mop-up since the GST regime came into force in 2017. At Rs 1.61 lakh crore, the GST collected in June is nearly 20% higher on a year-on-year -year basis and about 3% higher than the mop-up in May. On the sidelines of an event to mark six years of goods and services tax, my colleague Shivani Bazaar caught up with Vivek Jori, who is the chairman of the CBIC, and began by asking him about the next phase of reforms. Listen in to what he had to say. I think it requires some more consultation with the industry. Some of the measures uh, have been discussed internally, and uh, uh, we will take a call in the coming week about whether to place them before the council. But some of the other measures, uh, we are still having consultations with the industry. So we've had one round. Uh, we've shared some of the suggestions with them. And uh, we're awaiting their feedback. So that How's the drive going? Because it's in the last leg now, the two-month drive. What are the kind of, can you shed some light on the numbers? Uh, the drive is going rather well. And uh, it's a combined thing of the center and the states. And we had identified... Um, uh, you know, a certain number of uh, taxpayers who had to be verified, uh, 6,000 to begin with, and uh, uh, almost uh, 5,000 out of those have been verified. And we find that about 25% uh, have turned out to be bogus. So I think that's a good hit rate. And uh, we, when the drive comes to an end, we'll take a call about whether we need to continue with it, given our success rate and given the fact that we still hear of cases of fake billing and fake ITC. So also in terms of the action taken against these entities, is there a formulation, has there been some action against these entities that you have identified? So the fake entities, you know, by definition are those that don't exist. So uh, the one good way to uh, deal with them is to purge them from the system. So we either suspend or cancel their registrations because the principles of natural justice demand that you know we give them an opportunity um, to explain their case, but uh, in most cases uh, there's nobody who turns up, so uh, we just go ahead and cancel their registration and uh, clean the database uh, of our taxpayers by doing that. So last GST council also uh, discussed the GST appellate tribunal. Is that also something? Uh, the blueprint has been in the pipeline for a while. Ha is there something that is going to be discussed in this meeting as well? Uh, look, the GST tribunal um, was discussed at the last council, but uh, the legal changes that it entails were finalised. Um, if you recall, in the Finance Act of 2023. Uh, provisions have already been incorporated in the CGST law for putting in place a tribunal. Uh, corresponding amendments have to be made in the SGST laws. Those are currently underway because different states have, uh, you know, different times at which their legislative assemblies meet. So it's only when um, both of us are ready with the uh, base law that we'll go into the issue of constituting the tribunal. But sir, is there a timeline, tentative timeline? Likely to happen by um, later this financial year, but I see it happening within the financial year. Okay, it's time for a short break now. When we return, senior NCP leader Ajit Pawar joins hands with the BJP and Shiv Sena government and takes oath as the second deputy chief minister of Maharashtra. More on that when we return.